Here we are going to look at a simple but approximate procedure for inscribing a pentagon in a given circle. And we will be developing this procedure as a compromise between inscribing a square and inscribing a hexagon. Now in general inscribing a polygon in a circle consists of marking equidistant vertices around the periphery of the circle. For example over here this hexagon has six vertices and the distance between vertex number one and two is same as that between two and three and three and four and so on. So if we can find this distance, the edge of the polygon, then we can take it in the compass and mark it from point two to get point three. And then from three, we can mark it to get four and then five and six and so on. So it all boils down to finding this edge. Now in case of hexagon, we know that this triangle over here is an equilateral triangle. In other words, the edge of the polygon is same as the radius of this circumscribing circle. So this edge is easy to find. Now let us see what is the case for a square. For a square, you can see these two diameters are perpendicular to each other. And therefore, this edge of the square is going to be root two times the radius of the circumscribing circle because the triangle formed here is a isosceles right angle triangle. So let us now take these two polygons and just keep their essential parts that we need like this. So this is the edge of the hexagon and this is the edge of the square and I'm going to take these two edges and rotate them about this common vertex. So both become vertical. When we do that we will get these two points on this vertical diameter. Let us name these points as 6 and 4. 6 stands for the hexagon and 4 corresponds to the square. And now you might have guessed what I am going to do next. I am going to take a point exactly midway between these two and I label it as point number 5. Now let us get rid of what we don't need now and I will take this distance P5 as the radius p as the center and I'll mark a arc so that it cuts the circle over here. Let's call that point as point Q. If I connect points P, Q, that will be the edge of the pentagon we are looking for. And how to get the other edges? Well, I'll start rotating this edge. So I'll take this edge, rotate it about the center of the circle so that this point Q after rotation comes and fits exactly on top of P. And then I'll take this edge and fit it on top of this, then on top of this, then on top of this. Okay. So essentially we have uh, done five copies of that edge, rotated copies. And you realize that there is an error. The pentagon is not closing on itself. Okay. There is an error. And this is what happened when they first taught me uh, this procedure in school. And nobody told me this is an approximate procedure. So I kept sharpening my pencils and you know tightening my compass uh, so as to reduce this error. But instead of reducing, the error kept on widening bigger and bigger. Now let us look at the exact procedure for inscribing a pentagon. So we'll start with this paper and we'll draw a circle on that paper in which we'll be inscribing this pentagon. Say O is the center of that circle and we'll draw an arbitrary diameter AB. The direction of this diameter is not important. Then we'll draw another diameter, say CD, which will be perpendicular to the first one. Then we are going to take any of these radii, say OA over here, and we are going to bisect it. If you want to know how to bisect a line segment, just click here to see that clip. So we'll get the midpoint of OA. Using that midpoint M as the center and MD as the radius, we are going to position our compass and we'll be drawing an arc. So this arc uh, will be centered at M, its radius will be MD, it will start at D and it will continue until it reaches this diameter AB, intersects it at point R. I have labeled this point R because uh, this point gives us an important radius. Next we are going to keep the compass at D, so center it at D and use DR as the radius and we will draw the second arc. This arc uh, should be extended till it meets the circle at two points over here and here. 
and 60% of our work is done because out of five vertices that we are looking for, we have already found three. Let me label them for you. So here is our vertex number one, which is point D, which we already had. But uh, these two vertices, two and five, are now additionally available. Uh, vertices number three and four will be somewhere here and they are easy to find. We will just take the same radius that is dr but position our compass at 2 this time, center it at 2 and mark uh, this distance on the circle. So that will give us the vertex 3. Vertex 4 can be similarly found, use 3 as the center, undisturbed radius and get the vertex number 4. Now that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the 5 vertices, simply connect them with line segments to get the pentagon. Let us have a quick recap, this time in the top view. So here is the circle in which we want to inscribe the pentagon. O is its center. We have drawn diameter AB and a diameter CD perpendicular to it. Then we are going to find the midpoint of this radius OA. Let's call it M. Then with M as the center and MD as the radius, we are going to draw this arc till it meets our first diameter AB. Let's call that point of intersection R because that gives us an important radius. So we'll use that radius to draw this arc. So with D as a center, DR as a radius, we have drawn an arc which intersects the circle at two points. Uh, these points are already on the pentagon we are looking for. So this is a vertex number one, this is vertex number two, and vertex number five. Well, three and four are somewhere here. To find those vertices, uh, we just use two as the center. And with the same radius, undisturbed radius, we'll cut here to get vertex number three and similarly vertex number four can also be found and once we have all these five vertices we simply join them with line segments to get our pentagon.